Hey guys, so I am live. However, I'm doing an audio live on this evening. And we are on day four of mastery and why it's important for building your brand. And if you guys see in the title, we're going to be talking about mastering your money mindset. And it's actually one of the most important things that you can do as it relates to your brand. It's one of the first things that you're going to have to do if you, you know, wish to get to your next level, maintain the level that you're on, whatever it is that you're wanting to do in your brand, we know it eventually requires uh, an investment of, of money. Um, of course, we can definitely use our time to implement and do things, but at some point, there's always an exchange of money. Uh, regardless of um, how much money you already have, even you know, billionaires have to invest money. And they one of the things that most of them have done as they get to new levels is they've mastered their money mindset. Um, even us, for whatever level we're on, is probably the level of mastery uh, we've done uh, most of the time organically as it relates to our money mindset. And it's funny because, you know, most oftentimes we don't even think about it. Uh, we may attempt to do something or have an idea or thought or something that we want to do uh, for our brand or in our business. And the level that we've mastered our money mindset determines, you know, whether or not we actually take action on those things. And so I'm doing live audio tonight. Um, I'm just in like complete chill mode and I'll still do a quick introduction before I get pushing through for those of you who come on and you've never been on a live broadcast with me before. You can still comment. I guess I can say I'm practicing for my podcast, um, but this is live audio, so it al allows me to be live and present during the time that I'm recording, and you all can comment and things of that nature, just as you would if you were able to visibly um, see me live. So never been on with me before. I am Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am a transformational growth strategist. I focus on mindset, personal growth, and business building. So I help service-based business owners, um, coaches, and salon professionals to brand, build, and profit in their business. I operate from a full circle perspective because I know that our mindset and the level that we grow personally, it all affects how we grow our business. And so regardless of how many strategies we know and we hear all the time that we should do, what is actually dictating um, whether or not we get those things done or what we actually implement as it relates to moving forward in our business is our mindset. And because it requires us to do different levels of investing for whatever the next level is that we want to do, I wanted to talk about mastering our money mindset. I was commenting on one of my clients was talking about um, how she was moving forward in, in different things in her life and in her business. And <clears throat> I commented, as a man thinks, so is he. And I think we, for, for those of us who are kingdom entrepreneurs, so rarely do we actually take the scriptures and make them practical. Because that is a scripture that we hear all the time. Many of us probably say it and repeat it without thinking fully about what that embodies. But our thinking dictates every single thing that we do. Before we ever take action on anything or any action that we've already taken was once a thought. So before we take action on anything or any action that we've already taken... It first started as a thought. So wherever we find ourselves, whatever position we find ourselves in, whatever income we're earning in our business, uh, whatever's in our bank account, 
all of that is based on our mindset and how it relates to money. I was listening to a program from Bill Winston. Um, wow, sometimes last year. And he said in order for us to really get to where we want to go, we have to move out of the space of time. We have to move out of the space of time. And what he meant by that is most often times, even though we're saying we want something at a different level, we're usually so focused on what's going on with us in the current present position that we're in that we never really take action on the things that are going to make whatever it is in our future become our present. So we have to move out of time and we do that through our mindset. Now this may be a little different or, or maybe a little um, heavier than uh, maybe expected, but many of you have been following me for quite some time, so this may just flow and register to you and be a reminder is what I'm hoping that it will either confirm something for you, it'll be an aha moment for you, or be a reminder. And so Bill said we have to move out of time. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have things going on in this right now season that we need to take care of, but the, the thing that normally happens is we only focus on whatever our current or present situation looks like, and then we never take action on anything greater or bigger that would move us into the future. So when, when Bill Winston is saying move outside of time, that, that is what he's speaking of. So <clears throat> everything that's transpiring for you as it relates to your income and your finances it's based on your beliefs. It's based on your beliefs, your thoughts, and what you are consistently saying. So here's something that, that you can do. You can think about, and this is an exercise I get my clients to do, or questions that I ask them as it relates to money. So whenever you think about something that you have to do, even if it's pay a bill, right? Because I don't know how far to go with this, but even if it is concerning paying a bill, what type of energy or feeling do you normally have when you're paying the bill? Like, oh gosh, I have to pay this bill or, you know, kind of fear to pay the bill for lack of, you know, not having any more. Be mindful of what the thoughts are around whenever you go to pay a bill. If you catch yourself feeling like, oh my goodness, I gotta pay this bill or paying the bill in fear or things of that nature, it means that you're operating from a, a limited space, meaning what you're feeling is that there is no more money available or that money is so hard to come by. And so what you do is you create, you recreate that energy over and over again so you continue to manifest or attract the same situation. But if you do it in gratitude, like one of the things I do when I pay bills or I have to purchase something, and if I catch myself, because you know it might be a little bigger, <laughs> um, you know, deposit or something that I'm paying on something major or whatever the case may be. Uh, but what I do now is I say, I'm just so grateful to be able to spend on this level because I know that there's an abundance of money. I know that I have the ability to create and earn more revenue in my life and you know money is just available to me. If it's something bigger that I'm challenged to do that I know that I need that I you know have to spend money on and I catch myself you know doing it in fear, I'll check my thoughts and I'll say hey it's you know there's an abundance of money everywhere. There's no lack of money or, or resources. It's really based on what we think about money. So be mindful when you go to purchase things or when you even how you speak about um, how much something costs or how much it is. Because if you believe that it's too expensive for you, your mind will never search for ways that you can put yourself in a position to be able to afford it. It will completely stop right there. So remember that thoughts, uh, every action that we take or don't take was once a thought first. 
It was once a thought first. And so we only take action based on our thinking and our belief. So the money that you have in your life is a result of your thinking. The money that you have in your life, in your bank account that you're creating and generating is based on what you think. Because if you think that there is um, greater available for you, your mind then begins to search out thoughts and ways or actions. And then it's, it's kind of like if you um, decide, maybe you purchase a car and you purchase a, a blue car <clears throat> And all of a sudden, you begin to see this blue car, the same blue car everywhere. It's because your your mind, your brain is now searching for that exact same thing. And because we live in abundance, it's the same thing as far as money is concerned. So if you don't feel that um, it's possible to, to earn $100,000 a year, then your your brain is not even going to search for opportunities that will allow you to do that. You'll hear those opportunities and because there is um, lack of belief, you, your, your brain won't even collect the information long enough for it to process so that you would take the right actions on it. So I hope this is helping you guys. So if you're you know, wanting to build this amazing brand or business, uh, mastering your money mindset is going to be huge. It's going to be really huge. So regardless of how much money you have now, develop an appreciation for that. Because there's an energy around that. So when I say energy around it, let's think about this. So just just think about two different scenarios in your life. Maybe one where you were in lack and then one which may be the case for you now where you're doing well. Or maybe there was a time where you were doing even greater than that. How did you feel? How was your energy when you were not in lack, when things were going like really, really well for you? Do you even remember having negative thoughts around money, right? Because all of it is energy. So there was a belief during that time where things were going well that money would continuously flow to you. And so you kept that energy up. But when you, um, oftentimes when people fall in lack and you can hear it in their conversations, um, how they speak about money, how they speak about their spending, and you can just hear it in conversation. And so that energy never searches out an opportunity to create um, more revenue. So just remember that everything that's transpiring or has transpired in our lives does it uh, first from a thought. So when you were uh, maybe young, what did you hear about money? What did you hear about money as as a child? Did you hear that money was plenteous or, you know, we don't have enough? And so we begin, oftentimes we take those same thoughts and we, we recreate them in our adult lives. And if we're going to, you know, really build amazing businesses and brands, we have to master, you know, our money mindset. So be sure to Appreciate whatever amount of money you have now because just that emotion, those thoughts, um, they change your, your energy about money and it's not this dreadful thing. So for those of you who are believers, I wanted to share this part with you here. So there's scripture that says, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So oftentimes when we are saying there is uh, no more money, money is hard to come by, we are binding up the flow of money coming into our lives. This is, this is, I mean, for those of you who study the word and you want to go a little deeper. So when you think about just that scripture in itself, when it says, you know, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. When you think about heaven, heaven is actually the spirit realm. So that's all energy. I hope you guys are with me. That's all energy. And the earth realm is what we're doing in the natural. So when we're here on the natural, we can bind up the flow of money from coming into our lives that really comes to us from energy because spirit is energy and we are body, spirit, and soul. And so I just wanted to share with you guys um, on this evening 
about, you know, how important it is to master your money mindset, your thoughts around money in itself. And and if you have like a desire, for instance, you may be launching a program or you may have a certain number of clients you want to get, no, or you want to make. So let me say this. So I'll hear people say a lot, I want to earn a lot of money. One of the best things you can do for each new level that you want to go to is get really, really clear on how much that is. Is it $100,000 that you want to earn by the end of 2019? Put an actual dollar amount on it because the more clear you are about it, the more um, clear direction you're going to have for you know, taking action you're going to hear strategies that align exactly with what it is that you say that you desire. But if you just say, I want to be successful, it's just not clear enough to begin to form a set of actions for. So you guys know a confused mind does nothing. So our mind doesn't know what to do when we just throw things out there. We don't put... um, dates or dollar amounts or things of that nature on it, it's it's unclear. And so we don't have like a real target. And even if you're saying, I mean, I don't know how to, you know, hit my six figure mark in my business. That's not the part that you worry about initially is getting the mindset um, around it and, and really being able to see yourself in that space. And you can do that, as I shared with you before, by going back to a time where things were really, really flowing in your life. What type of energy you know, did you have and were you holding in that particular space? I doubt that you were talking about money being hard to come by or you, know, you probably felt free, you probably felt really good, comfortable, secure. Those are the same feelings and emotions that you'll want to step into by being grateful for what you already have right now, you create the energy for that. And so uh, scripturally, I took you all to whatever we bind on earth, we bind in heaven, whatever we loose on earth, we loose in heaven. So you guys have a super, super amazing evening. I will see you all again on tomorrow. I may do an audio again. Um, tomorrow live audio and i'm not exactly sure what time but we will be on day five have a super super amazing evening peace